Well, this is our first ever video of the farm. Welcome to Cumberland Miniatures. Our site is cumberlandminiatures.com. We're a small family owned farm in central Kentucky in the foothills of the Cumberland Mountains. Most of what we have are miniature cattle now. We have Scottish Highlands, which are a little bit too tall, and we have one Hereford and Jersey cross. What we try to focus on, because of rarity, are the miniature Holsteins. The fourth one back in the main line is the bull. He is our only adult bull. His son is about a year old. This white Scottish Highlands, white Scottish Highlands heifer, is Snow White. Her mother is Tan, back there with the red baby. Her mother is Goldilocks, the baby is Ariel. You tell him, honey. Trying to focus on the miniature Holsteins. There are very few of those in the United States. But as you can see, we still have some red in our herd. Like those. That's a Jersey Cross miniature. There's the basis of the herd right there. Several females. Including a rather precocious young bull there. We produce many colors, many breeds on this farm, originating back in 05 with the purchase of a very small zebu bull. And occasionally we still get the zebu blood, the zebu traits displayed. Of the two most distant calves coming, one is a hurt as a Scottish Highlands, the other is a zebu Holstein cross. Ours is an organic farm. We're very reluctant to even give antibiotic shots. Last year, in fact, we gave no antibiotic shots. The Scottish Highlands are very, very prone to pink eye. So at the first sign of that, because they become pretty difficult to capture, and they get pretty scared or angry because of their limited eyesight, at the first sign of pink eye in the Scottish, we do give LA-200 as an antibiotic. It's a rather thin looking girl in the center of the frame. It's also a miniature Holstein. She has not ever produced. Um, she's been repeatedly wormed and stays rather thin. I, I don't think she's a very healthy one. She was not produced by our farm. one in the middle of this frame was produced by our farm. She's an excellent producer. A little camera hog there. This Holstein is 40 inches, 40 and one half to be exact. She's been an excellent producer for us. One of her babies directly behind her there. Get some attention from the bull. You can see now the white backed calf on the left. Shows quite a bit of zebu traits, the diamond shaped ears, the thin, the thin hips, and proportionally a larger head. Interestingly the zebu traits seem to skip, depending on the breed that they're crossed with, seem to skip generations. She's actually um, one-fourth zebu and yet displays quite a bit of the traits. Goldilocks was about our first cow purchased on the farm. She came from a petting zoo. These guys must know Valentine's Day is close. Goldilocks says, that's my boyfriend. When Goldilocks first came here, she fully expected to stay up in the yard and get brushed every day, and we did that for a good while. She's rather standoffish now. 
Scottish are, in my opinion, very high maintenance cows. They're very emotional. They're very inconsistent. Uh, you would gauge the mood of that animal before you would go pet it each day. You wouldn't assume that it was just okay to do. They normally have absolutely spectacular horns. Again, her baby. Snow White had spectacular horns, but used them too much, so off they went. With behavior just like that, where she just tried to butt another cow. You can see the Scottish Highlands, the chocolate colored one, getting more blonde. His horns are about six inches long now. It's very healthy, he is for sale. Charlay. She's very close to birthing, I believe. That would be her first calf. Made arrangements to sell her and a couple of others <laughs> to a repeat customer. This isn't everybody, but it's close. Total of about another seven cattle. Several at the hay rings. This is just the most hopeful group that we might have some sweet feed that we're willing to share, and we already did. We just don't have any more. We always welcome questions. Our email address is cumberlandminiatures at yahoo.com. On our sale barn and show ring, we have quite a few animals shown. We also have a farm information category on our website, stating very much what I just said, that we try to go for strictly organic anytime we can. We've even taken the GM corn out of the diets of the animals. We've also switched to diatomaceous earth as a wormer instead of a pour-on chemical wormer or an injectable wormer. Although that's easy to do with annual vaccinations, <coughs> it's much better to have an organic product working naturally in their intestines, in my opinion. They don't seem to be any worse for wear, and most of them don't seem to be missing very many meals. Have any questions? We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for visiting.